hey what is up guys welcome back to the world of ai in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how baby agi is now correlated with langchain by combining both of the capabilities of baby agi with those of langchain agent we can create a powerful machine intelligence that can process a vast amount of data analyze it and using advanced nlp algorithms and machine learning capabilities that can provide insights and a meaningful way to complete any task using these agents as well as these tools on Langchain. So with that thought guys, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos on Baby AGI or how to actually install it on local on your local computer, I would highly recommend that you do so. Please comment down anything that you want to see in the future. Like this video guys and just please subscribe if you haven't and make sure you turn on the notification bell as I'm always providing you guys with the best content. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend you do so as there's a lot of content out there that will definitely benefit you guys. So with that thought guys, let's get right into the video in which we're going to be showing you guys how you can actually install Baby AGI with the correlated Langchain version and how I will show you a little bit more as to what this new meaning is with the combining of the capabilities of both of these two applications. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. So quickly for the people who do not know what baby AGI is, it's a theoretical artificial general intelligence, which is an AGI system. And obviously it's not an AGI as it's something very hard to actually accomplish, but it's something that will slowly aim to mimic this AGI type of intelligence and it's designed to learn reason and solve problems in ways that is similar to what a human would be able to do. Now the goal of baby AGI is to develop a machine intelligence that can perform any intellectual task that a human can do. It is built on advanced natural language processing systems and algorithms that are in, that enables it to actually understand and um, process amounts of data. The ultimate goal obviously of baby AGI is to create a machine intelligence that can be intelligent enough to complete any complex task as well as problems and improve the basic quality of human life. And this is something that Yohi has been able to accomplish. Obviously it's a task driven autonomous agent and it's something that I really emphasize in my videos. So I highly recommend that you go check it out as I have a more detailed analysis as to what the actual application is. And I've also made a tutorial on how you can actually install it on your local desktop. So I definitely recommend it. But for the people who do not know what it does in terms of how it like operates autonomously basically you give it a task the task is queued to the memory for context once that task is given to the gpt system or the application it is the objective gets sent down to the task creation agent and this task creation agent queues up multiple different tasks to actually solve and reason to basically complete each of the tasks for the actual overall objective that you give it once that is done each task are prioritized in different ways and cleared out and th that's through the task prioritization agent which is gpt4 and once that is completed it is sent to the memory in which you can basically file as well as use the data sets to process anything that you're trying to basically create for your objective and that's just a little breakdown of what it's trying to do with baby agi as well as what the functioning uh, abilities are of the actual application as we talked about at the start, the primary goal of Baby AGI is to develop a machine intelligence that can reason, learn, and solve problems in a way that is similar to humans. Now, in order to actually achieve this goal, the Baby AGI system needs to access a large amount of information and knowledge, basically a source of intelligence. Now, this is where Langchain agent and tools actually come into the play. And this is something that Langchain has been able to incorporate with Baby AGI. Now the Langchain agent is actually a software agent that can access a variety of informations as well as data sets, websites, and a lot of different sources of structured and unstructured data. And this is something that I can make, basically make a video on later on in the future as to what Langchain is. But the Langchain agent is actually designed to filter and process this information and then it is provided to the baby AGI system in a format that is easy to understand and process it so that it can articulate and utilize some of the features of Langchain to get a better response compared to baby AGI using just generic responses that it would get from a GPT system.
Now the Langchain tools are a set of software tools that can be actually used to analyze and process data. And I believe it is somewhere here, which I can show you in a bit as to what are some of the tools. Now, these tools include natural language processing, NLP algorithms, machine learning algorithms, data visualization tools, as well as different other applicable tools that would basically help in the process of generating AI content. And by basically using these tools, the baby AGI system can also gain insight from a large data set and make a more articulated response with accurate predictions. For example, this is just another insight on some of the tools as well as some of the applicable things that baby AGI can use for its basic like articulated responses and you can see that you can get a wide variety of different tools that will help you out in better creation of different like articulated responses now before we actually get into the installation of how to actually use langchain incorporated with baby agi one of the key things that i wanted to highlight as well as the benefits of langchain is that its ability to automate many of the tedious as well as the time consuming tasks associated with text analysis this is going to save a lot of time as well as a lot of resources uh, while also improving the accuracy and reliability of their data analysis because Langchain has a lot of different tools that will be definitely very beneficial for the processing as well as like the basic generation of certain things with the baby AGI. Now in terms of actually installing it, you can install the two files over here, which you can also upload onto Google uh, Research Colab and this is something i'll leave a link down in the description you can just clone it this is actually from another youtuber that i found online and i'm just using it to actually uh get it set up on the google collab so what i want you to do first is obviously save a copy in your drive because you don't want to be saving your data to the same collab and what you want to do is you need to get your open ai key as well as a pinecone api key i believe this one requires you can do the pinecone one or you can use the other uh, Google Colab link, which is for the Serapy uh, key, which you can get completely for free online. And the two things that you need to make sure is that for your API keys, I've realized one thing, guys. I've been in my recent videos, I've been telling people you can just copy, and create a new key, but you got to make sure that you actually have balance on it. Otherwise, it won't actually like formulate any responses because you need to have a balance for the tokens to actually be utilized so make sure that you're able to bill a certain amount on the actual account so that it actually uses it to formulate different responses so you need to have some sort of account like backing your actual purchases using the api key there's obviously a free one that i believe for the first three months with an open ai account you get three months for free for up to five dollars of token I, token utilization so that's just only five dollars and i believe it's not even that much for you won't be even able to run many of these applications you need at least fifty dollars probably to run most of them so I highly recommend that you just put $50 or into an API key as it'll be very beneficial for you guys in basic needs for whenever you're using these applications. Now you can use the Serapy one or Serapy key, or you can use this goal up, which has the actual Pinecone one. There's two options. I'll leave both of them in the description below. Personally, I like using Pinecone because it's much easier. So you, what you want to do is paste the API key over here. And what you also need to place is your Pinecone API key. And obviously over here for your environment, you just need to copy it from Pinecone and paste it over here. For your API model, you can use GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is the 3.5 version of GPT or you can use GPT-4. So there's two options. Table name, you can obviously name it to anything you want. Just make sure there's no underscore. So obviously before you even do this, you need to make sure that you have a clone because obviously for different reasons. And you will, first you want to do is install the pipe queue, install OpenAI tick token pinecone client. So these are the three things that we're going to be using for this actual agent to run. And the other one, you're going to be using a couple other things that will actually help you articulate different tools. So obviously you can play around with both of these versions as it will help you out. And obviously you want to get the clone uh, and you want to basically download all these different options on the Google Colab as it will help process as well as run your actual overall task. As you can see here, 
which we basic with baby AGI it relies on three LLM chains. First one is the task creation chain to select the new task to add to the list. The second one is task prioritization chain to reprioritize task. And the third one is the execution chain to execute the task. This is how basically baby AGI operates utilizing the tools from actual chain uh, from length chain and just make sure that you install each and every one of these guys because you need to make sure if you're not able to install one of them you're not going to be able to articulate any of the other sections on google colab and once you have finished that you can redefine certain things on this obviously i'm not going to read through each and every step because that's just very time consuming so you can do that on your own as it's quite self-explanatory and there's different things in the test text that will tell you to input certain things obviously the main things are just in the first section and if you scroll down a little bit over to run baby agi you just need to put the objective in uh for this youtuber he put this one but obviously you can put something else that is more related to what you're trying to accomplish and something else that i wanted to reiterate as well as make sure that you guys uh, have a quite clear understanding is that the max iterations you need to make sure three anything above basically one for testing is quite absurd so you need to make sure that you don't use up a lot of your api tokenizations code like uh like tokens basically so you need to make sure that you put it less than three obviously if you're just playing around but if you want more articulated responses as well as something that is very heavy or extensive for this actual application then you might need to require to put in something like three and you can also set your api or your llm as well as the temperature for it zero is going to give you a less vague answer obviously the more you go up the more it's going to be more vague as well as more creative it will try to make it and basically you just click play over here and that's how the actual application is run using lang chain and that's basically the gist of today's video guys i just wanted to show you and emphasize how baby agi is with length chain agent is going to be quite revolutionary for baby agi and it's just opening up a new gateway as it uses and utilizes different tools which is going to be very helpful for baby agi as well as task creations in general as the tools that you would get from length chain will be very beneficial for any of the creations that you can use baby agi for and that's basically the gist of today's video guys i hope you found this video quite interesting as well as quite useful for you guys so with that thought guys i'll catch you guys next time if you guys haven't subscribed please do so like the video comment anything that you want to see with that thought i'll see you guys next time guys have an amazing day peace out fellas